Subaccounts let you manage convertory pages for several clients or businesses. They look like individual accounts, but are controlled by your main accounts, letting you switch focus while each major project is under its own roof. Each subaccount you create has its own sites, forms, integrations and images. But beware, your collection of scripts, videos and permissions on your main account will not migrate automatically. To add a subaccount on your main page, click on Account in the top right hand corner and then click on Add Subaccount. Enter a name for your subaccount and click Create. There, done, you have a new subaccount. From this page, you can search, add, remove, rename, and archive your subaccounts really easily. The beauty of subaccounts is they let you add clients as team members and keep them separate from all your other projects. They'll have all the permissions which they need, but your other clients' work is kept private. To add clients to a subaccount, go to the subaccounts panel in your account and click switch to next to the sub-account which you want. So let's go to this one. You're now in the dashboard for that sub-account. It looks exactly like the dashboard for your main account with one vital difference. On the left hand menu, the team tab has now been replaced with the client tab. So we go to accounts and here you can see it says clients rather than teams. You can click to add a new client, so let's click on it now. Enter any details that they have. Once you've entered their details, their name and email, just click OK. And your client now has limited access to that sub account, meaning they can edit pages, but they can't create new ones. If your client relationship has ended, Hopefully you're still talking. You can remove subaccounts, but not permanently. Remember, if you're active in the subaccount, which we are at the moment, you need to come out of that by going to your main account before proceeding. So click on where it says the subaccount name. You can see the list of different accounts. I'm going to switch to the main account again. Go back to accounts in the top right hand corner and the left where it says sub accounts and we can see all the different sub accounts here. If you went to archive one of the different accounts here you just click on the archive button and off it goes it's been archived. You can see them later on if you want to by selecting the archived buttons here and there we can see it there. Later on if you want to you can always restore that sub account and it will just come straight back with all of your information still saved in there as well.